Hello! Happy Friday! Happy Friday, everybody. Welcome to Deep Soul Channel. If you're new, my name is Kelly. Welcome back if you are returning out to my tribe. So my tribe, what's up? Oh, that live button is right there when I turn this video on. I feel I just want to hit live, so, you know. Let me ask you all a question. I, I, I'd like to be able to do these, these readings, not that I want to be on camera, but I think it might be a little more personal. But my the way I have the phone, I can't really do it that way. So, you know, I'm working on that. I made a little tiny bit more space on there, so, and I don't want to waste it, so we're going to get going here. All right, so these are the, this is going to be the reading for the energies of this weekend. Like if I didn't say it, happy Friday. I don't know. I'm very tired. It's very hot here, and I didn't sleep all night, so I didn't get much sleep. Um... So I don't forget. Um, all right, what am I trying to say? Um, is you going, this is a general read, first of all. It's not going to resonate for all of you. And it's for the 21st, 22nd, and 23rd. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So these are the energies of this weekend. What we what we need to think about, what we need to focus on, that kind of thing. I have been sitting here col collaborating with myself. <laughs> um, brainstorming, basically. Because there's a whole bunch of things I want to do. Let me explain for those. Before I start. I'm a bit creepy and a bit twisted. So, um, if you don't know what a thumbnail is, it's the pictures that you do against the video. And so some of them are going to be a little trippy because, well, never mind. Well, you'll see. Decisions, people. Decisions. Making a choice. I've been doing a lot of thinking myself about that. Making some sort of choice. You have options and now it's time to make some sort of choice. You may be having a hard time making a choice. The star card. Wish fulfillment card. With... The Ace of Swords. This week, uh, although the beginning of the week, the readings, uh, Monday and Tuesday-ish, well, not hard. Last week was a bit rough. Um, I think this week is all about regaining your power. And here, there's the balance, the healing, and getting that wish fulfillment. I mean, basically, it's not rocket scientists here, people. You don't even have to probably be a reader to really know that the star card, um, if you're familiar with it, is once you heal yourself, once you get your truth and you balance yourself, you're in alignment with yourself, you set your intention out to the universe, that wish fulfillment, there's your truth, your clarity, you make that decision of what you want, and you set it out there, you set that intention out there. Doing that myself, nine of pentacles, ah, and the eight of pentacles. My beautiful people, this is all about your independence and all about working on yourself. I mean, this is so straightforward here. Just working on yourself. You know, weighing the options, the pros and the cons of what you want to do and working on it and step by step, one by one, you're going to get it done. You're going to get it done. Now, let's see. So this is what you may need to, maybe some possible obstacles, maybe just what you need to work on. You know, maybe a challenge here and there. Six of Cups, there's that past again, and Justice. The evidence has shown that whatever happened in your past, no matter how you may look fondly on it, may not have been your truth. So what you've been living in the past may not have really been what you really needed to be doing. But that's okay because it was a learning period. Okay? And the Justice card is I am not ready. Alright. I won't poo-poo around too long here. I, I'm sorry. I made I talked too long in the beginning. The Justice card is weighing the pros and the cons. Weighing the evidence of the past. And then using that wisdom and that information to move forward. But I'm hearing whatever you were living, whatever you were doing in the past wasn't your truth. That wasn't what you really needed to be doing. Now you're on the right path, I believe, working on yourself and and what you really need to be doing. All right, moving forward. Choosing that path. Look at this. Five of Pentacles with the two of two of Wands. You know, I just heard this, and there's the three of Wands. Wow. Okay. So let me just get to this first, and then we're going to clarify. Um. With the Two of Wands and the Five of Pentacles, I'm hearing it's been a long, cold journey for you. And you've come to a point where you were tired of being feeling left out in the cold, tired of being 
injured all the time, whatever you want to call it, having lost, and you've decided now I'm going to take my, again, your power back and shoes. Oh my Lord, it's so hot in here. I can barely breathe. Um, <laughs> if you see my head fall on the desk, that means I passed out, but I'm okay. <laughs> um, so basically you've chosen your path and now you just have to wait to see where spirit, where the universe is sending you next. There's the two of wands again, choosing your path. If you have it, now's the time to think about this weekend. Six Cups. Um, hold on just a second. Sorry, I was tripping out because we had some really loud thunder. Like thunder and lightning storms with no rain. And I just heard that like song boom type thing again. So you have the two of ones. Okay, Six of Cups. So you ha again, this is, I think this came yesterday or was that the day before? You have to choose what path you want to be on. Do you want to remain in the past? Whatever didn't work for you. Do you want to stay in that past or do you want to choose a new path and leave that past in the past? Moving forward at any cost. You know, I don't mean to be preachy. But sometimes we have to make difficult decisions. And they can be scary. They can be hard. Uh, you may have to leave something behind that you really don't want to leave behind, but you have to. Four of Cups. You don't want to get into that energy. All right. Be careful of not getting into that energy of being, um, um, oh, shit, not apathetic, but just not wanting to do much of anything. Okay. If you get into that energy of that the universe is offering you a brand new, I mean, look how huge that cup is, a brand new start. And if you are stubborn, if you close your eyes and you don't look at what spirit is offering you, um, it's kind of like, you know, those intervention things, you know, it's like they're offering you a gift and it's, it's the, the first day, it's the first day, what does they say? The last day of the first day of your life, first day of the last day of your life, whatever, something ends and you start a new life. That's what this is. And if you resist, you're going to get caught in some sort of, um, abyss Oh, take a gamble. Whatever it is, I'm sorry, you're going to get caught in the abyss of your own mind and your own emotions, and it's going to stop you from moving forward, was what I was trying to say. Um, Wheel of Fortune. You have to take a gamble. You have to spin in order to win. I said this the other day. Um, the Wheel of Fortune is, is about some sort of a lesson and that you have learned, and now taking a look at that lesson and taking that information and going, you know what? Yes, A, B, and C happened. I don't want that anymore. I want something new. I want to do something that's good for me. Stepping up to that wheel and spinning it, taking that chance. You got to take chances in life. All right, we have the Knight of Wands with the Six of moving away from that energy and, and moving away from that past and, and just you have what it takes to do it. You have the, the courage and the strength. And if you don't, ah, there's the Ace of Wands. And, oh, look, the world on the bottom. And the, under that was the Nine of Wands. I could just keep going. Brand new beginning. You have an idea of what you want. We're talking about this already. It's the end of a cycle, my dears. It's the end of a cycle. All right? It's time to start brand new. Take a brand new leap of faith. Don't give up and don't give up on yourself. Don't give up on your dream. And don't give up on yourself. You can do this. The Two of Wands. Oh, are you freaking kidding me? Am I that close? Yes, I am. Well, shit. Well, shut the F up. Motherfucker. <laughs> you shit. I can't take all those. You're too many. I got all panicky. All right, people. I'm still working on the phone. I'm sorry I yammered on the beginning. That kind of screwed up the time there. We're almost done, though. Two cups. You are, that's, I, I, that can be new love, but I'm saying that is you. You're caught in a mental prison right now. You are caught in your own head, and you're worried that you can't do this, and you need to balance out those thoughts and, and dig deep inside of you and find that courage, find that strength to do it. This is something that I think you really wanted to do. All right? I do not want to run out of time, so I want to thank everybody for tuning in. Hello, Lisa and Wanda. I'm sorry. I'm really off today. Hello, Lisa and Wanda. Hey, everybody have a great weekend. Over the weekend, just think about what path you want to be going on. Set that, that intention out to the universe. Make your wish and go on that path, whatever path you choose to go on. All right? All right. Thank you for tuning in, everybody. Subscribe, join the tribe if you haven't already. Thumbs up.
everybody, please, and comment. I would love to hear from you. All right. Thanks so much for tuning in. I hope you will join me again. And peace out.